Greetings and salutations, you guys. Here and here, welcome to another late night live sale this Friday, July 15, 2022. How's everyone doing tonight? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Uh, first, quickly, if you guys are watching this video after the live is already over, um, you can check out down below in the description box for the items, their item numbers, availability, and pricing. And you can also check out previous videos from yesterday and Tuesday um, as well to watch older videos to see if you see anything else as they are over there as well. But thank you guys so much for being here tonight. Let me see who's in the chat right now. I see Linda. Hi, Linda. There's Tracy. Fox, West Coast Gal, there's Diana. Hi guys, how is everyone doing tonight? Hi Marion, how are you? It, it's Friday, I cannot believe it. It is the weekend tomorrow and I'm super duper excited. Does anyone have anything um, exciting planned for the weekend? Anything, like any fun plans, any barbecues? parties, whatever, anything. Hi, Mama Miss Lang. How's it going? All right. Oh, so I have tonight's question up already. It is right there. What is your favorite secondhand thrift, thrifted pre-loved purchase? You can leave the answer in hi diana in the comments of this video i'm gonna have it linked right here oopsies okay i'm gonna have that link right there in the live chat hi katie how's it going hi melistia and answer that over in oh what happened why does it always do this to me Ah, there it is. Leave your answer in the comments of that video. And then at the end of tonight's live sale, we're going to be announcing our winner. But I'm going to let more people trickle in for a sec before we start. Frozen Luxury. <gasps> you have an Instagram meetup at the Shopping Mall of America? That is so cool. That's like the, that's in, where is it? Um, Minnesota, right? The Shopping, the Mall of America? Is that where that is? It's like the largest mall in the U.S., right? How is your variegated Monstera? <gasps> Jamie, thank you for asking. My Monstera is actually doing really... I'm actually going to show you guys. Uh, my little Monstera, actually it's pretty big now, is over here. It's kind of like growing a little crazy. I think it's time to repot it. Can you see it right here? So there she is. She's kind of like, like she's outgrow, she's growing over the pole and she's kind of like made a little twist. I think I'm actually going to propagate her again because I just, we just recently propagated her and I'll show you guys the babies over here. And, ah. Uh, Okay, here are some of the propagation babies right there. Excuse my living room, it is kind of a hot mess. But these are the guys right here. The roots are growing nice and strong. Oh, that vase is really heavy. But the roots are growing really nicely. So it's actually almost time to re-pot that one. And I actually have... Let me see. Uh, it's too dark outside right now. I'll take you guys on a field trip. We're going on a field trip. We're going on a trip to our favorite rocket ship. I hope I don't step on a frog, because there's a lot of frogs out here at night, especially after I water. Uh, let me see. Let me turn on the light really quick. I'm going to set you guys on the table. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh, that was a giant bug. Okay. And then here are some of the, I don't know if you guys can see if the lighting is good enough, but I have this guy right here. And I've actually been growing these outside because I want to leave, I want them to be like used to being outdoors. And they have been doing really, really well. 
Um, and I have this guy right here, which is actually pretty big. I'm actually going to set you guys on the floor. Um, it's actually a pretty good size. It's about, I want to say, almost three feet. And this is like a new leaf that's just opening up right there. And then I actually have this other guy right here, which is actually a little taller than... Sorry, you guys are probably really dizzy. But I'm like holding my computer. And there's this guy right here. That This is the new leaf that just opened up. And it's huge. So I'm really excited. Because I think that means that it's doing really well. Like the leaves get bigger. And this guy, I just recently moved over here. So I think it's still acclimating. So it has like the smaller leaves. But this one has a really high variegation in the leaves. Which is very exciting. This is a really pretty leaf. And oh, look at this leaf. This one's like a half, a halfer. It's like half white and then half. Like that one's really, really pretty. But yeah, okay, sorry. I got really excited because someone asked about my plants. So let's go back inside. <laughs> it is really warm out there. And I'll turn that light off later. Okay, now that we're back in the house, it's a lot cooler. Now I'm sweating though. And... Oh yeah, let's change that color. Um, let's just do, can I just do black? Oh, there it is. Okay, for some reason I didn't know I could select black. There you go, so there's that question. And also, this is tonight's giveaway. It's a little, uh, this is a vintage Juicy Couture key pouch. So it has like the little heart right there with a J. It has um, the little Juicy Couture charms right there. It also has a little key thing right there. There's one pocket in the back. And then you can put your stuff in the inside. It's really, really cute. And the leather is super soft. And it's black. Oh, thanks, Jean. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um... I'm going to be propagating it again. I know a lot of people have been asking if I'm going to be selling any or anything, and I honestly do not know. I have no clue if I'm going to be able to even ship them out because I feel like it's so difficult to ship out plants because that plant that I actually have, like the mother plant that I have over there, the big one, I ordered that one. I went on in an eBay auction, and when it came, it came all the way from Florida. And when I got it, it was a hot mess. I literally thought it was going to die. And it was such an expensive plant. So. Hi, guys. Oh, Jean, did you remember that video? When I first got it in the mail, I was so nervous. I was like, because oh. like, it was like rolled up, like. It was like a map or something, <laughs> like a poster. And I planted it and all the leaves just started kind of like dying slowly. And I was just like, <gasps> but luckily like it came back to life and it has been thriving pretty much ever since. And now I've propagated a couple times. All the babies have survived. And I just, yeah, so. Oh, Fox. Okay, no worries. That's exciting. I love that you're multitasking. Oh, you're welcome, Jamie. I'm glad you guys like the plant. It's so pretty. Uh, I really want to... I think I'm probably going to propagate it this week, I think. Because it's gotten kind of, like, too large for the... Well, like, for the pole that I have it in. And I actually want to switch out to... Um, like that pole that I had for the other one that has like the sphagnum moss. I don't know what kind of, what, what it is, or coconut husk or something. But that way it'll grow better. Because right now it has grown over the pole and it's kind of just like falling over and it's growing downwards. Anyway, that was um, our giveaway. Again, I'm going to leave that link a couple more times for you guys in the live chat so you guys can... Leave your answer and enter over there. Again, that is our question for the night. I think it was Tanya. Was it Tanya that thought of that question yesterday? 
So, gonna leave that right there. <gasps> Jamie, yeah! I, yeah, like, they grow really quickly once, like, they acclimate and once you find, like, a good spot in the house. And it really likes the corner that I have it in right now. And it's, yeah. What's funny is that a little, like, on the bottom, like, towards the bottom of the stem, it has, like, an offshoot that grew randomly from the side of it. And almost all of the leaves on it are all green. So I feel like I need to cut it off, but I feel like it's cute still. But it doesn't have any variegation on that one. So I know you're supposed to cut it off, but I mean, like, it doesn't really affect the rest of the plant because the rest is still variegated. It's just, like, that one, off of that one offshoot on the side, it has just regular green leaves. Oh, Tanya. Okay, it wasn't you. <laughs> I thought it was you. Oh, Odelia, of course. Let me show... Oh, I, I really like those long chomps that you found the other day. Let's see. Look at these. She's got two beautiful long chomp bags. You guys know we love long chomp bags here, so that was gorgeous. Oh, and you sent me a TikTok of, is that a reel? Oh, a reel. Oh, these are the coach bags. Remember um, the other, uh, last week I had that, um, the coach bag in this design, like the new one that came out? That's crazy. Like they still have them, like they just came out, they're still on display. So cool. I'm obsessed. That bag was so fun. Let's see. I think um, Odelia has a couple other bags. There's this really pretty Dooney and Burke. This is one of the vintage ones. I love the colorway on that. And this looks like a Dooney and Burke. Gorgeous. What is this? Oh, this one's a fossil right there. Odelia, you're getting some good stuff. Um, oh, look at this. Is this one a coach? If it is, that is cool. I've never seen that style before. And then here's another coach. Beautiful, the monogram canvas. Oh, and I think I've shown those other ones already. But beautiful finds, Odelia. Those are amazing. Okay, well, let's get started. <laughs> Agreed, Tanya. Long chomp bags are so good. They're like literally the perfect like travel bag too. My mom always has one with her whenever we go anywhere. And she's had the same one since for, I think I actually bought it for her. I don't even remember. I think I was the one that bought it for her like in 2010 or something. Diana, no. Where did you post it? I have been, like, so MIA from social media. I'm so sorry. <laughs> if, like, anyone's been trying to, like, message me or anything, I have just been so busy. It's been crazy around here at the house. So many things have happened. Did you put it in the Discord? Hold on. Let me take a look. Dun, dun, dun. Is it in the handbag rehab section? Diana, where did you post? Oh, here it is. Oh, no, that's not it. This is Chanel Bowler. Let me see. Was it this one? Because that one is so cute. I think uh, Diana has this one for sale, too, if anyone's interested. That bag is really, really cute. But I don't think I see it unless I'm... I have, like, not been in the Discord group, unfortunately. Oh, my gosh, look at all these cute dogs! <gasps> Hold on, Mama Sheila's puppies are so cute! <gasps> and Twofold's cat... Zoe Bowie, that is such a cute photo. Ew, I can't believe I missed this. Look at Diana's puppy right there. 
<gasps> so cute. Shanka, that is such a cute name. Oh my gosh, okay, sorry. I'm just like, let me actually leave the link for the, um, for our Discord group in the live chat if anyone wants to join. I'm just like, sorry, I haven't been into the, in the Discord group for like the past how many days. Um, I have just not really been on my phone too much. So I apologize. And let me copy this link. All right, here is the link for the Discord group if anyone would like to join. <gasps> wow, Delia, $2.99 at Goodwill? That is such a good deal. Also, hi, Style Chat. How's it going? <gasps> She's going to be a mom. You have to show us the babies. I love puppies. I'm obsessed. I'm so excited. Okay, let's get started because we can't go on for, we can, I, I don't think we can stay on, or I can stay on for too late tonight. I have a lot of stuff I have to get done for, um, for tomorrow. So let's get started. All right, item number one is going to, oh, let's do this. Okay, um, our first item this is a Henry Bendel um, clear tote bag. It is super. Linda. <gasps> Linda, I don't know if I saw it. I don't think I saw it. Um, let me check it out really quickly. Oh, here it is. Oh, I'm glad you like your coach. That tiger coach bag is literally everything. Oh, okay, that that wrist. Oh, it's literally right there. Okay, I have it. I will show it after this one. That'll be item number two. You wanted to see that um, wristlet. Okay, so this is our first item. It's a clear, like, beach tote bag. It's a little wrinkly, but it'll definitely iron itself out. These plastic bags always do. Or you can just take, like, a hair dryer to it and it'll sort itself out. But it is just in this clear PVC with a black uh, Safiano trim. And yeah, it's like a really pretty, sorry, like a really pretty floral print. You stand on this side. And it's in black, brown, purple, pink, red. And it just has like the HB right there for Henry Bendel. So it's just like a fun, like summer, like beach, pool bag. It's really cute. It's a good size. Oh, you're welcome, Linda. I'm sorry I missed it. Okay, so this is our Henry Bendel Clear. I'm just calling it the, the beach tote bag with black Safiano trim. And this is going to be how much for Adrian. Okay, we're just going to do this guy for $25. That is item number one, our Henry Bendel tote. It's a really great bag. Plus I just love a clear tote for like the summer. I don't know. Look how fun like my cup looks inside of it. Hope it doesn't fall over and spill like it did. Oh, no, it didn't spill. Thank goodness. But look how fun it is when you can see the stuff inside. I love that. All right, up next, we're on item number two and I'll show you guys that tote bag. Hi, Terry. How's it going? Thank you for joining us tonight. Okay, number two. This is the one that um, Linda was asking about. Here you go, Linda. This wristlet is so cute. It's not by any brand. It doesn't have any, like, label or anything inside. But it's, like, it kind of reminds me, um, which is why I was really drawn to it. It looks like the Loewe knot bag. And it is so cute. It knots up like this has a little wristlet. It's super duper fun. Hi, Boots. Like, look how cute that is. And then you can just, like, carry it. I don't know. It's really, really fun. I like it. You can even attach, like, a crossbody strap to this, and then you can wear it, like, as a little crossbody if you wanted, just on the little um, ends of the drawstring. The inside is just in a gray fabric lining. 
Um, the exterior is in pretty good shape. It just has a couple little marky marks right there. It looks like just a little, like kind of like a patina almost. And then this is like a little mark just right there. But, oh, Norma's calling item number one. Congratulations, Norma. I forgot my gavel, but yay. Congratulations. <laughs> First item sold goes to Norma. Thank you, Norma. That's a really cute tote. Okay, so here is the pouch again. It just has some very light marks, like just in that one corner right there. And again, there's a little bit right there. But it's such a cute little wristlet. The leather on this is super soft. It feels almost like a Napa leather. And I'm just obsessed. So that is item number two. And this is our brown drawstring wristlet in leather. And this one's going to be how much for Adrian for the wristlet? Okay, we're going to do this guy for um, 25 as well. And that guy will be item number two. So cute. It's such a cute little size, too. I wonder if you can fit my phone in here. Let's see. Got my phone. Ah, that fits in there perfectly. So cute. I love that it can hold the phone. All right, Linda's calling number two. Congrats, Linda. And sorry, Brina, about the applause. I can't believe really I forgot my gavel. I think, um, I think Zach stole it. He probably has it, like, in his room. <laughs> Item number three is up next. Hi, Finding Solace. How's it going? Okay, up next, we're on item number three now. And... Oh, let's not forget that my phone is in here. I might lose that. Okay. Next item for the night. Oh, okay. So I had my sister try these on because I remember I didn't, like, I could not find the size for these. These are a size six and a half. So these are navy blue Tory Burch sneakers. And they're in, like, this really cool kind of like embroidered floral design. Um, it's embroidered onto the leather. So all these little patches are like, like pieces are leather and then it's like embroidered on like the design. Has the Toy Birch logos on the back. The shoes are actually in pretty good shape. There's like not too much like wear on them at all. And the insides are nice and clean as well. So there you go. These will be our next item. These are item number three. Our navy blue Tory Burch floral embroidered leather sneakers, um, size 6.5. And these are going to be how much, Vaderine? Um, no, because I didn't know what size they were. Okay, we're going to do these guys for just 45 We're going to do a good price on these. So if anyone is interested, that is um, item number three. They are $45. They are size six and a half for these guys right here. Our beautiful Tory Burch sneakers. All right. Let me just put these guys down here. Hi, Veronica. How's it going? Thank you for joining us tonight. And we're on item number four now. Where's my phone going off? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, number four is up next. And 
Oh, I actually wanted to see if I can clean this off really quick. I'm using my foam cleaner as per usual. And I wanted to see if I can remove these marks that were on here. Hmm. Alright, it's coming off a little bit, but this other one I believe is a pen mark. Some of the pen mark is actually coming off a little bit. It might be a fresh mark. Sometimes if it's a fresh pen mark, the stain will lift off easier. And... Okay, it's not lifting off completely, but some of like half of it actually almost came off. Okay, well, here is the wristlet. It's not actually in bad shape at all. It is just that um, that pen mark that is probably the most noticeable in the interior. Okay, here we go. Here we go, one more time, everybody's feeling fine, here we go now. This is a Michael Kors wristlet, it has a little wristlet right here, it's removable. Um, this is in a salmon pink color with gold hardware, and the interior looks like this. It has a little phone pocket, but this one is for a regular sized iPhone, so it doesn't fit the Max but it will fit like the mini and the regular size iPhone inside of there. And it has a clear ID. Um, there's that pen mark, which is right there. And then there's a little mark right here as well, but that'll get covered up by your cards when you have that in there. So that shouldn't be too worrisome. Um, here's a pocket and then the change pocket. The zipper is great. And there it is in the inside, nice and clean. Oh, Forever Jovi Girl. Yeah, that's the Discord link. Let me leave the regular link for you guys for the giveaway. Here it is. Oops. Okay, it's not actually number four, but there's the link a couple times in the live chat for you guys to join um, into the giveaway. Our giveaway question is right here. What is your favorite secondhand slash, thrift slash thrifted pre-loved purchase? Yeah. I have a few of them. One of them is my dining table. The other one is my Loewe bag, which I'm obsessed with. And I don't have a lot of favorites. Bye, Maria. How's it going? Thank you for joining us tonight. You and your foam made me go out and buy essay. <gasps> Terry, yes, the foam is awesome, right? It's such a good cleaner. It is amazing. Okay, sorry about that. I got sidetracked again, but here is the wallet. Again, it's in a, um, like a coral pink. Coral pink color and gold hardware. The hardware is in pretty good shape. Very minimal wear, just like light marks, and the zipper works really well. And again, the wristlet is removable. If you wanted to use this just as a wallet, you can do that. Right, Tanya? Just leave like a, you can leave a couple. <laughs> Tracy, this is the foam cleaner that I use. It is the Kiwi Quick Dry Sneaker Cleaner. You can use this on a lot of different types of leather and fabric. Um, just make sure to read the directions. You can't use this on like Vachetta or like untreated leathers. You probably wouldn't want to use this on. And always try it on an in an inconspicuous area of the bag where it's not going to be visible if it leaves some sort of stain. But this does work really, really well. Um, another good alternative that you can, you can use for even more things would be the Angelus. Um, I think it's called the Tech Cleaning Foam. They have another, uh, Angelus has a cleaning foam that's really good. And you can use that one for suede. You can use it for nubuck, regular leathers, and it works for almost every type of leather. But again, always just check first, unless you're super familiar with the leather or um, item that you're using it on. But it is really good. You can buy that at CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, Target. They're great. 
Hi, Fantastic. How's it going? Okay, so um, item number four, that is our Michael Kors Coral Pink um, three-fourths wallet with gold hardware. And remember, it does have like that little pen mark and the other mark above the card slots inside of there. How you? <laughs> it would be amazing to be sponsored by Kiwi. It would be amazing to be sponsored by anything. Honestly, I would be honored, but definitely don't have enough. Um, probably like I don't know. They probably there's probably like a certain amount of subscribers or followers on Instagram that you need in order to be like sponsored by a company like that, right? Okay, so this one is gonna be how much for the wallet, Vedrin? All right, we're gonna do this wallet for forty dollars, and that is gonna be item number four. Our Michael Kors wallet. She's pretty. I love that it has the wristlet too. That's always a nice little thing. Oh, Brina. <laughs> what happened, Adrian? Oh, your computer is going crazy. Uh oh. Oh, that Hermes baby blanket is so good. I forgot. I almost forgot about that one. That one's literally on my sofa in my room. Like, it's there all the time. Okay, up next, we're on item number five. And who, Ethan was, <gasps> the baby was deleting messages? <laughs> okay, if, um, some of the comments were accidentally deleted from the chat. It's because a cute little baby was pressing buttons on someone's computer. So we apologize profusely if your comment was accidentally deleted. So <laughs> don't be offended or mad. <laughs> you should be honored because a tiny little baby was pressing buttons. Okay, uh, let's do our next item. And up next I have... Okay, I have this um, Michael Kors wallet. This one is in a white Safiano leather. It's really, really pretty. Um, it does have some marks, but I will paint it up for you before I send it out because I know this will be a really quick, easy fix. Um, but it's white Safiano leather, gold hardware. It does have some discoloration up here in the fabric which I may or may not be able to remove. So just know that that might be there um, after um, you get it. So I'm going to sell it as is, but I will fix up the leather so it'll be perfect. I just, I'm not 100% sure about the zipper portion. I will definitely get it lighter though. I know there's like some parts that are a little dark. Um, but the inside is super duper clean. It's in such great shape in the interior. And even... The little card pocket, or the little um, change pocket right here is also like in really great shape. It's super clean. And that will be item number five. Oh yeah, Angela's paints are literally the best. That's what I would use, that's what I'm gonna use on this to fix it up. This is like this white, the white Safiano from Michael Kors is the exact same white as the Angelus paint. So that will just paint up beautifully. This is our white Safiano leather. Michael Kors zip around wallet with gold hardware. Okay, we're gonna do this guy for, let's do this guy for $30. That is item number five. Three dollars for a white Safiano leather wallet. I do love a white wallet, even though not everyone loves a white colored wallet, but Safiano leather is so durable and it's super easy to clean. Beautiful. Okay, so that is our item number five. We're on to item number six now. I'm gonna set these guys down over here Just trying to like organize everything that's over here okay up next I have let's do this 
Okay. This one is up next. This one's going to be a little bit of a fixer-upper, okay? So this one is a... Um, what is... What kind is this again? Uh... Radley. <laughs> Radley of London hobo bag. This is in a, like a metallic, like a dark gold color, like a bronzy color. Um, it does have some wear to the color of the leather. You can see there's like a mark right there. There's a mark right here. On the back, there's discoloration on the corners. Um, this one actually wouldn't be too hard to fix up. I believe there is a paint that matches this from Angelus. If you want to still do it in this metallic color, or you can just dye it or paint it a whole different color. Black is always easy as well. Um, the bag itself is in pretty good shape. It's just the metallics sometimes have a penchant for rubbing off over time. Um, that's why if you have a metallic bag, it's actually good to um, reseal it every so often because it'll help protect the metallic paint because that paint almost always will start rubbing off eventually. Um, but the inside also does have a lot, of, a lot of darkening at the bottom of the fabric of the lining. It does have like discoloration and pen marks. But the lining can be turned inside out. You can scrub, 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 and this should all pretty much come out. That's just like normal darkening from normal use. But it has one front pocket right there. And then it has a zipper pocket in the interior and then two open pockets underneath. And yeah, so this is our next item. Oh, Diana, I cannot wait to see it. It's going to be so good. I cannot wait. It's going to look so good. I can't. I'm so excited. Ooh, um, a quick tip is to use a good quality, like, paintbrush. So you don't have to get anything, like, super duper expensive. Um, like, I, I would actually recommend just getting, like, a set from Angelus, because I, I really like their brushes and they work really well for their paints. Um, but use a good brush, because if you use like a kind of like a cheap brush or something, um, it, the paint just doesn't glide on as nicely. You can definitely feel a difference. And if you use like a better brush, you'll get a more even coverage. And sometimes, like if you use cheaper brushes, sometimes it gets a little streaky. If you use like a good brush, it won't be streaky. And also do thin layers. Don't glop it on. Thin layers. Even if, like, after the first one or two um, layers, sometimes it could still look a little patchy. Once you get to the third or fourth thin layer, it's going to look fantastic. So you don't want to glop it on. Brina, I was actually going to say, <laughs> makeup brushes are really good. If you have, like, um, a spare makeup brush that you don't use anymore, or just, like, an old makeup brush, those are so good. Um, I have... A couple, like I got, I thrifted a couple of those Artiste paint brushes or makeup brushes, um, like a while ago. And like, I know it's like gross to like use a used makeup brush, but like I'm not using it on my face. I was using it to paint, and it paints so, so good. It did such a good job. So highly recommend if you have like a makeup brush that works too, <laughs> or a paint or a makeup brush, Diana. Those work well too. But yeah, anyway, so this guy is going to be item number six. This is a fixer upper bag. So this is our metallic bronze um, Radley of London hobo shoulder bag. And this one is going to be um, $20. Oh, thank you, Irene. <laughs> so that is item number six. Diana. Yeah, if you have like an extra brush that you don't use anymore, you can just use that. They work really well. Highly recommend. I was actually going to make a video about it, but I never did. But they, they are fantastic. Okay, so this is item number six. $20 for our bronze Radley of London hobo shoulder bag. 
I feel like it's still like a really good bag. It's cute. Okay, up next. We're on item number seven. And let's, oh, okay. Up next, I have these, um, these are Coach flip-flop sandals in black. The bottoms, like, the soles are patent leather in black. And then the, like, this regular part up here is in a regular black leather. And it has a gunmetal hardware right here. It has, like, a little Coach turn lock. Hi, Linda. How's it going? I love that there's two of you guys in here. Um, oh, Linda's asking if anyone takes commission projects or paints or dye a bag or SLG. I wish I could do stuff like that, Linda, but I don't even have time to do my own stuff. So, unfortunately, I can't do anything like that. But I think there's a couple of you guys that are really good over here at um, doing that kind of stuff. But yeah, so these are a size 10. Yeah, these are a size 10. And they're in pretty good shape. Like the bottoms don't have too much wear on them. And then it's really just like the patent portion that has like some marks on it. But your foot's going to go over it. So you're not even going to see that when you're wearing it. But here they are. Here's the back, the sides. Um, so these are our black coach flip-flops. If I could type properly, flip flops in black patent and regular leather size 10. And these are going to be how much for Adrian? Okay, the, these guys are going to be $25 for our black coach flip flops. They're pretty nice. They even have like a little height to them. So they're not like super flat, which is good. They're about like almost like an inch. Oh, Brina's calling item number seven. Congrats, Brina. Wait, cover your ears. I'm going to do the applause thing. I don't want you to. <laughs> there you go. I blame Zachary, but he's sleeping right now. So we can't ask him where he put it. <laughs> he and Eliza were fighting over it the other night. Brina, I, I've been manifesting these for you. I have been looking. Because usually I only find those size fives for some reason. All right. Up, oh, thank you, Irene. If you guys could give the video a thumbs up, that always helps immensely. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. And also, don't forget to enter the giveaway tonight. You guys, I'm giving away that... Um, Juicy Couture Vintage Key Case. And that is the link again. If you would like to enter, leave your answer in the comments of that video for tonight's giveaway question, which is what is your favorite secondhand thrifted pre-loved purchase? Okay, we are on item number eight now. And let us do... Okay, this one is super fun, and also going to be a project bag, but I love the color of this. It is in this beautiful magenta. I have been obsessed with magenta recently, and I mean, you don't have to keep it magenta. You can dye it black or paint it a different color or just do like a more like a regular red color. I know not everyone's into magenta, but this is just such a fun pop. It's honestly not even in the worst condition. There is just some color loss across the top right here, but nothing crazy, right? Still looks pretty good. It can definitely still be used as is, but it could use a little love in TLC, um, especially on the corners right there. But if you guys buy the Angelus Magenta Acrylic Paint, it is pretty much exactly this color. So pretty much, probably like just one coat of paint, you'll be good to go um, with this bag. But yeah, if you want to like try or practice um, painting or dyeing something, this one will be a really good one. I love that it has this little turn lock pocket here in the front. 
And then when you get into the interior right here, there's two open pockets down below, and then a zipper pocket in the back. And then it has these little top handles right here. And then we have the crossbody strap, which is adjustable and removable. And I love that it, it kind of looks like it's a double pouch bag, but it's just one. And it's a good size too. And the strap does go longer, can go shorter as well. And here's how it looks like as a shoulder bag. So you can carry it like that also. So it's really cute. Hi, Miriam. Okay, so this is our Magenta um, Mark Jacobs project bag. And this has silver hardware. Oh, SLG is a small leather good. So it's like wallets, pretty much. Like wallets or pouches, stuff like that. Okay, and this one we're going to do for $25 for our Mark Jacobs. That is item number eight. Really cute. Again, it doesn't need too much work, but a little color refresh and you'll be good to go. You just need that acrylic paint in magenta. Oh, that's a good suggestion, Claire. You can also go to, um, if you go to a, like a cobbler, they'll, they can do like touch-ups, paint touch-ups and re-dyes as well if you want to go there. And up next, we're on item number nine. Hi, Roxanne. How's it going? Thank you for joining us tonight. Hi, Adriana. Oh, I totally forgot that I had this guy. Okay, so this is our two-for-one special coach bag. So this one is a little crossbody. And then... It also will come, actually, let me see, there's a little mark on here that I didn't notice. Oh, Cindy's calling item number eight. Congratulations, Cindy. Yay. Yay. All right. Oh, yeah, so mark my mark. Over there, where'd my cleaning thing go? Here it is. Oh yeah, that came right off. I was like, what is that mark? Gotta love the cleaning foam. I'm telling you, this cleaning foam is amazing. It's so good. It's literally my favorite. Okay, so this one again is a two for one special. You're gonna get the card case that has a little key thing and you're gonna get the little crossbody bag. I love the design of this one. It's in like a cream leather and then it has this really pretty floral um, design. The flowers are in like pastel pink, blue, and yellow. The crossbody bag is so so fun. There we go. Here's how it looks as a crossbody. There's a really great front pocket right here. And then the main compartment just has one pocket. And the little key pouch wallet has the little key thing right there. It has a zippered part right up at the top. And then it has one, two, and then three card slots right there. Oh, Miriam, hello, my name say hello to my niece. Oh, hello, and is it Anne Jeanette from Chile? Anne Jeanette. Oh, you're visiting Toronto. I hope you're having fun. I've always wanted to go to Toronto. I have, a, I have an uncle, I think, that lives there. Leslie. Oh, Leslie, this is the cleaning foam that I'm using. The Kiwi Quick Dry Sneaker Cleaner, if you want to take a screen grab of this. This also comes in a, in a brown bottle, and it's called uh, the Boot Cleaner. And I feel like they're literally the same product. I use them interchangeably. It's just sometimes, well, a lot of the time, both are sold out, and sometimes there's only one of them. So 
I usually, you can pick up either one. Just make sure that it's the, it's the QE foaming cleaner. And they have another foaming cleaner that's only for suede as well. So if you have suede or Nubuck products, um, they have a separate product for that if you want to use that. Right, Melissa? It's really pretty. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is leather. Let me just make sure. Yeah. It is. Right, Vadrian? It is, right? Yeah, this is the leather. You're welcome, Leslie. So this is our um, coach set in cream leather with um, floral design, small crossbody bag, and key pouch card wallet with keychain. All right, how much was this again, Vadrian? Okay, we had this at one twenty-five. We're gonna do a little discount. We'll do one ten tonight if anyone is interested. That is number nine, and that is for both items. It's for both the wallet and the bag, and they are matching, which I think is really fun. All right, up next we're on item number ten. <gasps> John's here. <laughs> John says hi. I don't know if you guys heard him. All right, number ten. Oh, Leslie, is this new, is this your first time here, Leslie? If it is, welcome and thank you so much for joining us at the live sale. These happen every Friday and Saturday at ten p.m. Pacific time, and then Thursdays at seven. All right, up next, uh, let's do. I gotta show you guys the Chanel shoes again, just really quickly. Because these are still available if anyone is interested. These shoes are so gorgeous. These are our Chanel black suede shoes. They have the little toe cap right here. This is a fabric in the toe cap. And then it has the embroidered um, CC logo right there. And it's also the same fabric in the back. And then we have the pearl details along the heel. The shoes are in really great shape. They don't have too much wear at all. And these are in a size 37 and a half, which fits the U.S. size 7 and a half. So these Gosh. are the shoes right there. And this guy is going to be item number 10. Black suede Chanel heels with pearl detail size 37.5 fits US size 7.5 and these are um, these are 450 we're gonna do 425 tonight that is 425 for item number 10 oh thanks Odelia all right so those were our Chanel shoes we're on item number 11 now I just had to show them again they're so good someone needs to get them because they are beautiful um, up next, I still also do have this, the giant Balenciaga crossbody bag. And this is in our black leather. This is the second to largest size that this bag comes in. But the, I feel like this one is the best size. It's really, really pretty. Mm hmm Oh, Cindy, of course. Mm-hmm. Melissa, they are two inches. Yeah, that's a two-inch heel height. So not too high. And my sister said that they are super comfy, but she's a one whole size too small. So she's only a six and a half. And she's super sad that she can't actually wear them. Uh, but this next item is our large Balenciaga day bag. Black leather. It's in really great shape. Um, hello, he, she, he I, I cannot ever pronounce your name. Um, hi, Shir Siro. Hi, Chiestro. Hi. <laughs> I can barely pronounce my name, so I'm <laughs> sorry. But there's a front pocket right here. Uh, did This does not come, though, with a removable or with a detachable uh, mirror. So this is just going to come as is, but the bag is in fantastic condition inside and out. 
Inside is super clean. It just has one interior zipper right inside of there. Oh, Diana. It's totally okay, Diana. Oh, Natalie. Okay, Natalie. I'm going to remember that. Natalie. Natalie, Natalie, Natalie. Just like Natalie Portman. We love Natalie Portman. All right, so this is our black, large uh, Balenciaga day bag. And this guy's how much again, Adrian? Oh, okay. Let me look it up. Let's see if we can find it. Um, large black. Eight. Okay, so we have this one at eight ninety five. But we're gonna do a little discount. Let's do eight fifty tonight. All right, that's item number eleven. Eight fifty for our black Balenciaga day bag again. This is the size large, and this is the newer style that has the thicker uh, crossbody strap, which is nice, and it's adjustable, so you can change the length. This is such a good bag. This could even fit your laptop. You can just put your laptop inside of here too. Be really nice. Okay, up next for an item number 12. Number 12 is up next. Okay, let's do this guy right here. And this is a Rebecca Minkoff. Just a nice, simple Rebecca Minkoff crossbody bag. This is the triple zip with the silver hardware, and it's in this gray pebbled leather. Um, the bag is in pretty good shape. It has just very minimal rubbing on um, the corners. It's nothing too crazy. It's not like too noticeable because the color is still pretty much the same on there, but there is some rubbing on the corners. Um, and we have the silver studs along the bottom and all these zippers actually like open and close, but I believe only, yeah. It's funny because some of the triple zip bags the second zipper actually like is a pocket, but this one is not. So this one, only the top zipper is a pocket and the other two are just for looks. But yeah, it's weird that they do that. Cause I have like, I have another one, it's like the belt bag and the top, two. anyway, crossbody bag. <laughs> it's fantastic. We have the fun tassels on here as well which you can remove if you wanted. Not everyone likes the tassels. I love them because we love a little movement while we're moving around with our bag. The crossbody strap is removable and adjustable. You can make this into a shoulder bag as well. And the interior um, is in good shape. Just, there's no pockets or anything inside of here. You know what? I think this is the older style. I think the older style is the one that only has a top zip that works. But it's in really good shape. There we go, there's the back. It has the Rebecca Minkoff metal tag on there. And yeah, it is a great color, Odelia. It's a beautiful gray. It's a nice medium gray, too. All right, and that is item number 12, our gray leather Rebecca Minkoff triple zip. Crossbody bag with silver hardware. And this is going to be how much, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this guy for just $35. Let's do $35. $35. Let's do 35 Oh, a meet and greet? <laughs> I have been wanting to try to do one um, at like one of the Goodwills or something. And I'm still waiting back to hear from them from when they think it would be a good idea. But I mean, I don't have to do one at a Goodwill. Um, but I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Like, would anyone even come if I did like a meet and greet? Like I don't, not everyone is in California either. So, but I have met some of you at the Goodwills, which is crazy. Sometimes I meet someone like every day whenever I go out, which is really cool. I love it when you guys say hi to me. So if you guys ever see me, I know one of you guys yesterday said that you saw me once and you were too shy to say hi. Don't be shy. I'm more shy than you are, I promise. Okay, so that was number 12, our Rebecca Minkoff. We're on item number 13 now. 13 is up next. Okay, let's do...
Oh, I have to show you guys this bag again because I showed you guys this one yesterday. I think it was also number 13 yesterday. And it is... Yes, we would come. <laughs> Linda, it's just going to be you and me. <laughs> the meet and greet. Okay, our next item. This is a Balenci or Balenciaga. This is a Gucci Sylvie, I think is the name. The Gucci Sylvie. And she is beautiful. She is in a beautiful black, smooth box leather. So pretty. I love like this, the fabric, like the red and green fabric down the middle of the bag and then paired with the gold chain and then the buckle detail on the front it's beautiful and i love that like this pops down like that and then you can open it oh my gosh you would not go would you really come all the way from vegas that's so crazy oh you're you're in la too natalie oh man you guys really want to do one i guess we can figure out when to do one we should do it in the hmm when is it not going to be too crazy the inside looks like this um it does have some red marks in the bottom from like lipstick i was able to clean most of it up you can still see some of it there i think i need to make a couple more passes and maybe hopefully we can get it all out but definitely there are some stains down there um, there's a pocket right here, and then another zipper pocket up at the top. And then that just buckles like that. Right, Melissa? Do a scavenger hunt. <laughs> That's why I want to, like, do something with the Goodwill. So then they would actually allow me to do that. <laughs> So, I don't know. We, I, I, I would love to. Brina, you're too nice. You're a blessing in this world. Oh, Katie, you're in Carlsbad. That's not too far. But thank you so much, Irene. Oh, you guys are, t you guys are <laughs> so nice. But this bag is beautiful. She's in pretty good shape. She does have, um, like, any boxed leather bag. You can see some, like marks on the leather but that's just at certain angles but that's kind of like the beauty of the leather like this i feel like this leather just looks really really good even over time the marks are their beauty marks they just are fantastic you can also remove this strap right here if you wanted to wear this as a crossbody um i don't know if i have a strap that would go with this right now um Oh my gosh, can you imagine this chunky boy on here? This is a belt, but can you imagine if this was like a cross? And I know you could turn this into a strap. You just have to like change out some of the connectors onto here. But I want to just see this as a crossbody. So we're just going to go for it. I'm just going to attach it to the leather piece right here. And then I think that would be really fun. Because I want to see this as a crossbody bag. So let's put this through. We'll put this in. Okay, just pretend that the pearls aren't super distracting. But I actually kind of live for the pearls, right? I like the pearls. <laughs> Actually, this would be such a cool crossbody strap, right? Like, that's so cool. Okay, if you purchase this bag, I will include the strap and I will turn it into a crossbody chain. I will add, like, the connectors to this because this is really cool, right? Like, how fun is this? It's super fun. It is missing a pearl, but that's okay. But look at that. It looks so good. I'm obsessed. Okay. Yeah, I'm obsessed. I can only imagine. <laughs> that would be so fun, though, Natalie, right? Oh, my gosh, Miriam. Would you really drive all the way down? We can take over the restaurant at Crystal Cove for dinner. <laughs> and Claire, that would actually be really fun. 
that'd be amazing. Right, Tracy? Like, this is actually a vintage belt from, um, hold on, I forgot the brand. It's on here. It's on this little thing. Um, oh, the brand is Carolee. And her belts are actually really expensive, like hundreds of dollars expensive. And this chain is probably one of the nicest chains I've ever met. I've ever met. I've ever like had. So it's a, really good. Oh, from Phoenix. <gasps> Linda, that would be so cool. Right? Can you imagine this with the shoes? Oh no, this would be such a good outfit. I'm crying, that is so good. It is really good. Okay. Oh, that would be so fun. <laughs> but I feel like that's like, if that ever happened, it would be a really long time from now. You guys would, be have, to, you guys would have to wait like another like 10 years. I'd bring hubby and make him wear <laughs> Miriam. That would be so cute. Okay, so this is our black Gucci Sylvie um, bag. And I'm going to include with gold pearl chain strap. <gasps> Mir oh, that would be so fun. That would be so fun. We should make like a whole day of it. It would be like a huge like event. <laughs> we'll go from place to place. Can you imagine... If we just like all went thrifting together, it'd be like this huge group. That would actually be a lot of fun. And then we can go have dinner somewhere. That'd be so cool. Yeah, Tracy, that would be so cute. And then we can all take pictures together. I love that. Then we'll make a photo book. It'll be like, <gasps> it would be like a yearbook, but like just for the day. That'd be so cool. How much was the Gucci bag, Vadrian? Was it $9.50? Okay, Gucci bag 950, but I am going to include this strap, and I'll turn it into an actual crossbody strap that will attach onto here better than it is now. Like, right now, it's just, like, holding on with a prayer. But it is so cute. I feel like this is so cool. I think it's really fun. Okay. Um, number 14 is up next. Oh, Mary. That would be perfect, Mary. And bring your sister along. You know, I have, like, thought about that, because I know they do stuff like that in other places, and I think that would be so cool to do here. I just feel like the just putting it together, though, would be, like, really intense. We'd really have to set that up. But, Brina, we're going to miss you. You're going to have to fly over here from New Zealand. you got to bring Jag. <laughs> All right, so this is item number 14. Here's our Gucci. So cool. I wonder if I can get Mom to wear this. She's gonna be like, that chain weighs way too much. I just have it like, it has like a little hook right here. And I just attach the other side to the little part. Okay, let me just remove this really quickly. Cause, there we go. All right, we're back. <laughs> but the belt is really cool, too, because... I wonder if I could find a pearl to replace the missing one. Or I could put, like, a giant jewel charm or something on there. Okay, do you think this will fit my waist? <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, it fits! The last time I tried to try this on, like, it did not fit, but now I feel like Shakira. So this is how the belt looks on your body, right? We could do some belly dancing. You guys are <laughs> too nice. Um, okay, so we're on item number 14 now, and I'm just gonna wear this belt for a little while, because it'll be really fun. I think this belt probably retailed for like 500 or something, like back in the day. Okay. Uh, our next item is going to be
this white Dooney and Burke. Is there a mark on there? Here I am, like, cleaning the bag again, honestly. I don't know where all these marks come from, but that just came right off. I'm telling you, this foaming cleaner is the bee's knees. It's so good. I'm going to start selling handbag rehab kits with all of my favorite items. I think that would be really fun. Or I should do, like, a giveaway on one, right? I think I could do that. Okay, so this is our next item. This is a Dooney and Burke shoulder bag in this white leather. And then it has this blue or blue brown contrasting leather trim. There is a front pocket right there with a red lining inside. And this also will come with a dust bag as well. And the inside is pretty clean, actually. There's just one little mark right there. Do you see that? Other than that, it's in really great shape. Um, there's a, a zipper pocket, three open pockets, and a key fob in there. Right, Tracy? I feel like I will. Like, maybe I'll do, like, I'll put together, like, a set of five. Something small. Because even if no one buys them, I know that I can use five for sure. So, I'm going to take this off. <laughs> but it's so cool. It looks really good with the with that bag. That was pretty fun. Oh yeah, I would definitely, uh, I would add the deglazer. I would probably do like a black acrylic paint, a white acrylic paint, and then maybe an acrylic finisher. I would do a Kiwi black shoe leather dye, um, the Kiwi cleaning foam, and then um, a Cadillac leather lotion would probably oh and then a microfiber cloth and um what's it called a one of those horsehair bristle brushes that's what i would have in my little kit Ooh, a cooking demo with mom i still need to do that too oh yeah i can add like a really good brush too that would be good okay so this is our white dooney and Burke um, shoulder bag with brown leather trim. And Brina, if you want one of those deglazers, I will send you one. Just let me know. <laughs> That's no problem. I can send it along with your next order. Okay. Uh, how much was this one? Let's see. White Dooney. Dooney and Burke. Let's see. Ah, here we go. This one was $60, but we're going to do a discount tonight. I'm feeling crazy. Let's do 50 bucks. The bag is in really good condition, very minimal signs of wear. And that is going to be item number 14. Oh, no, Linda. It's going to be the pencil, the pencil erasers. Those are my favorite. The pencil erasers are the best. I'm going to have to do that. I'll try to get the kits together like next week. I need to order everything right now, though. Oh, Tracy's calling number 14. Congratulations, Tracy. <laughs> All right. Congrats, Tracy. All right. Up next, we will do... Oh, you know. Um, okay, I can't find the other shoe. Where is it? Oh, is that it? Okay, I have these Balenciaga espadrilles, and I finally found out the size. These are a size six and a half. So they are these crazy Balenciaga espadrille shoes in gray and then they have the studs that are covered in leather as well i mean they do have like a little they have some wear especially like right there in the toe part there's some darkening of the leather and then there's some like in the back 
But honestly, like, it's nothing too crazy. Like, I feel like the shoe still looks really good. I'll show you the other one as well. This one stud probably has, like, the most damage. Like, it has a lot of rubbing on that one stud. And on this one, too. This one has, like, some rubbing on there as well. But I feel like they're still in really good shape. So, um, these are going to be item number... Add cart feature on the website. <laughs> you know what? I should sell the kits on my website. I do have um, a website that I don't sell anything on or look at ever that I designed like seven years ago and it still looks exactly the same. What, John? John doesn't want to help me with my website. Even though he went to even though he went to school for computers. How can I send? You just go to itshadrian.com. I need the admin privileges, bro. I'll send it to you right now, John. John said he's going to make my website good. Because he went to computer school. Computer. <laughs> computer school. John went to a really fancy school for computers. <laughs> okay, he went to a private school for computers. Are you making a... Croissant? I'm so jealous. John's eating a croissant and I haven't had a croissant in like eight months. <sighs> John. John's eating carbs. Okay, gray Balenciaga Espadrille. <laughs> Brina. Um, Espadrilles size 6.5. And the heel height is a little crazy. So it's two, four. It's this is a five inch heel, but it's a platform. So the front platform is two. So it's really only a three inch heel, right? When you do all the mathy stuff. And we're gonna do these guys for how much, Adrian? One twenty-five. Good night. One twenty-five. Hmm. Oh, Vadrian, sorry. Okay, we're gonna do um we're gonna do $85. $85 for the Balenciaga Espadrilles. They're super cute. I want someone to enjoy them. Like I got these for 75 bucks. So they're cute. Alright, up next. Number six. I didn't know the size of those for like eight months, I feel like. For as long as my website's been up. 16 is our next item. And let's do... <laughs> I'm laughing at Vadrian because Vadrian's with a baby. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, up next. Oh, Miriam. <laughs> I wish I could have giant platform shoes so I can be really tall. I just want to be like six feet tall with my platform shoes that I don't have. One day. <laughs> I need to get like those Spice Girl shoes that are like this high and I'd be like the tallest. Up next, I have, this is my furry orange Fendi cross body bag. It's super cute. I love it. It's in fantastic shape. There's like no signs of wear on this at all. It is such a fun pop of color. A furry orange bag, gold hardware. You press this little button right here. This is my favorite Fendi lock because you just press it and then it pops open. It's so cute. Well, Linda, <laughs> but they'll make your legs look fabulous. All right, inside it has three built-in card slots, and it does um, also come with a little Fendi card as well, right in here. Same, Miriam, same, but that is the bag. It's super fun. The, ch the chain is leather, and then it has a chain. It's chain leather can't even talk anymore and it kind of makes like a chevron design which is really cool 
and that is the bag and this is item number 16 our orange Fendi fur crossbody mini bag with gold hardware and this was how much Vadrian? Let me see. Orange Fendi. Orange Fendi. Fendi, Fendi, Fendi. Oh, okay, this one was $600 for our Fendi. It's so cute. I know it's fur, but I feel like the color will bring it back into the summer. Oh, and I put the wrong number. Oh, no, that's the right number. We're on 16. Okay, that was right. 16. 17 is up next. But look at the back. It's so cute. Right? All right. Up next, let's do... Oh, I have a B. Mikowski bag. Check this guy out. I feel like I haven't shown a B. Mikowski in a while. This one is a brown B. Mikowski hobo shoulder bag, pebbled leather, silver hardware. It has two front pockets right here. Um, Brina, actually, I do have some clothes. I don't really have anything... Okay, I can do some clothes. Um, the inside is super clean. Like, the bag is in fantastic condition. All the corners are in really great shape. So this is going to be... Right, Linda? I agree. Deborah, it's calling your name. The color is fantastic. It is such a fun bag. This is our Brown B. Mikowski, um Hobo shoulder bag with silver hardware and this is in life new condition you guys and we're gonna do this guy for how much Adrian? all right we're gonna do this one for forty dollars oh brina i'm glad you like the clothing pieces that i've been finding so this is our b mikowski it is it has a smiley face <laughs> Let me actually look for a clothing item. Let's see what we have in my little box right here. Did I show this one already? I don't remember. Okay. Oh, could they be any size? <laughs> or do you want them to be all your size? That would actually be cool. Like, I know, like, people do, yeah. People do, like, random, like, they'll do, um, like, thrift boxes for people of items that are in their clothing, like, their clothing size and shoe size. I feel like those are really cool. But... <gasps> Oh, Eclair, that would be so cool. Hi, story of my life. Welcome. Okay, so this is a Tory Burch dress. I don't remember if I showed you guys this one yet, but this is in this really pretty, like, blue and black and, like, a purple design. Um... I think, I don't know what this is made out of. Okay, yeah, so it's 100% silk. I, did I show this one? I don't remember, but this is 100% silk. It's really pretty, and it's in a size four. So this is a size four Tory Burch dress. Pretend I'm wearing it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Brina, do you want like designer stuff? But, like, that's only that's the only kind of stuff I like to find, though. I like, it's like, I like to look for is, like, designer stuff. I think it's just really cool finding it. All right, so we're on item number 18. This is our 
um, blue silk Tory Burch dress, size 4. And this is lined. The lining is in polyester. And this guy will be how much, Vadrian? Okay, yeah, I don't remember showing it, but we'll do $60 for this guy. That's uh, number 18. $60 for a Tory Burch silk dress. And again, this isn't a size 4. Oh, story of my life. I totally agree and can I totally feel you. <laughs> I wish they had more designer stuff in larger sizes as well. But this is our... Tory Burch size 4 silk dress. Yeah, Brina, just send me a DM. You know where to find me. <laughs> just send me a DM and um, I will look for all the designer stuff in your size for sure. Let me see if I have anything in a larger size. Because usually anything in a larger size, I end up um, giving to my mom. If she likes it. Okay. I have this Balenciaga dress. And I have no clue how this actually is supposed to look. I should put it on a mannequin or something. But let me see if I can button it up and if it'll look presentable. But this is a really cool Balenciaga dress that I think this ties right here in the front. And the fabric, it's like pilling, but I know like you can cut that off or like you can use that machine. But this is a, uh, I'm not even gonna show this one. I need like a mannequin or something to show it because it looks like a potato sack. But this is a Balenciaga dress. And what's the size on this guy? I can't find the info for it. It's inside here somewhere. This is a size 38. Size 38 made in France. And it's also 100% silk. Right, Tracy? Oh, you know what I would love is uh, one of those Chanel tweed jackets. Do you remember when they did a collection of the tweed jackets for men? And, like, I think it was, like, during, like, when Pharrell was doing stuff with Chanel. And, or, like, Marc Jacobs had, like, one of those jackets. Oh, my gosh. I really want a Chanel tweed jacket. I don't even like jackets, but I would like a Chanel one. I feel like, as long as they fit me, like, I don't care. <laughs> like, that would be so cool. But this dress is really cool. It does have, like, pilling on it, but it is silk. The texture of the fabric is really cool, too. So it has, like, this really cool, like, texture to it. Again, this is a size 38. Um, I got it for $50, but I just bought it because I thought this was so cool. And I thought someone would like it, but I'm just going to throw it up here if anyone's interested. I'm not going to price it for too much. We're just going to do 19, number, number 19. This is our Balenciaga black silk dress, size 38. We're selling this as is. And what if I get it for? 40 Okay, $50. Um, I'm just going to do this one for 65 if anyone's interested. It does have like pilling and stuff. I just think this is a cool piece. Like I know this would look really good on someone. But we're just selling it as is. You could probably bring it to like a tailor or something and have them like clean up the pilling. Or you can buy one of those machines that does it. But there is just some pilling on it. Hi Lady J, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. Mm -hmm. All right, up next, let's do a baggy bag. Wow. 
what? I want to do like one by habit. I think someone was asking me about this bag. And I don't remember who it was and I can't find the message and I'm a hot mess, but this one is still available. This is a uh, Liebskin? Oh no, Bakie. This is a Bakie crossbody bag. It's in like a, almost like a Tiffany blue color. And it has a, kind of like a little hand thing right here because you can carry this as a clutch if you wanted. And the edge coating is in the neon green, which I think is really fun. This bag is really cool. I love the design of it. The colors are spectacular that they used. The gold hardware just sets it off as well. Interior has a zipper and an open pocket right inside of there. And there is also a nice back pocket right here, which, let me see if it fits my phone. Okay, it doesn't fit my phone laying down, but it will fit just like popping up like that. Okay, so this is going to be number 20, and this is our um, Tiffany Blue Bakier. At least I, I think it's a Tiffany Blue. I might be off with the shade, but it does look like it. Um, Crossbody bag with gold hardware. Yeah, can you hear me? Oh, sorry I muted you when I put the phone inside the bag. Um, this guy, our bot key, is going to be how much, Adrian? All right, we're going to do this guy for $40. And that is item number 20. All right, 21. Also, there are more people in here, so I just want to let you guys know again about our giveaway tonight. We're giving away a Juicy Couture little key wristlet. Um, card pouch and I'm gonna leave the link for the giveaway here in the live chat just head over to that video make sure to give this video a like head over to that one give that one a like as well and then leave your answer in the comments and Monica Sanders is calling item number 20 yay, yay congratulations Monica number 20 goes to you our beautiful Bakie Okay. Do you guys like that I put like the instructions right there? I figured that it was time to do something like that because <laughs> I feel like it's so much easier than to just have to say it. Alright. Hi Brenda! How's it going? And we are now on item number 21. Okay, up next. Oh, you know, I still also do have this Stony Clover backpack. This is regular Stony Clover. It's not the Target one. And just, like, there's something about an all-white backpack. Like, it's so cool, right? All-white, gold hardware. Um, it does have some discoloration right here on the backpack strap. And... There's like a shadow of a mark like right there. I don't know if you can see it. I think it pops up a little bit. Do you see it like right there? Um, I don't know. You might be able to clean it or like throw it into the washing machine because it, it is just all nylon. But I haven't tried that. And it does still have the original tag as well. It's right here on the zipper pull. You know what, though? This would be cute with, like, a patch on it or something. Have you guys seen, like, the Anya Hinmark um, leather patches? That would be so cute on this bag. Like, just put, like, your initials or, like, the fun, like, designed ones. Those would be so cool. They even have, like, um, they had the Stony Clover for Target uh, patches as well that you can throw on here if you have them. There's a front pocket right here. And the main compartment of the bag open like that it's a great backpack it's 
It's my birthday today. <gasps> oh, Brenda, that's awesome. I can't believe you still made it here after celebrating your birthday. You are crazy, but we appreciate you. Vintage coach. <gasps> no way. That's awesome. Do you know what style it is? But everyone say happy birthday to Brenda. Happy birthday, Brenda. Yasmin says happy birthday. She is back there getting water and some snacks. <laughs> okay, so this is our white stony clover backpack with gold hardware. And this is going to be how much, Vadrain? Okay, this guy's going to be $85. We're doing a discount from what we had it before. I think we had it at $100 before. But we have it at $85 now for our white Sony Clover backpack. Super cute. Yeah, it's fun. I do love a white backpack. All right. Up next. Uh... Yasmin, look at her. She's getting... Are you going to heat that soup up? No, because... Uh, I thought you were going to eat it. I was like, yum, soup. No, but I am... I, was, I thought we still had the salsa left and we don't want Oh, the, the... What was it called? Cowboy caviar? That's cowboy caviar? Yeah. Whatever it's called, it was delicious. It's cowboy caviar. I only had a little bit... Yesterday, and I'm sad that I didn't have more. And now I don't know what to eat because if I just have pineapple, then all I have is pineapple. Oh, I should have asked you to try this dress on. It's a Rebecca Minkoff. What size is it? I don't know. It's I'm size four. Am I doing size four? Yeah. Do you want to try this? When's the next sale you're yeah. having? When's the next sale you're tomorrow having? Tomorrow night. Should I just try it on tomorrow night? If you want. You guys, look at me. I don't feel like trying anything on. I just took a shower. Yasmin doesn't want to try it on tonight. She'll try it on tomorrow. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> wait, huh? Uh, it looks like one you show. I'm not sure. I should look a cowbell. Oh, they said you have um really pretty hair. Thank you. She says thank you. Um, if you type in the last four digits of the interior um, creed number, and just like type in the word coach and then the number in Google search, the item or the bag should come up. Then you can find out what the name is. But this is a Rebecca Minkoff dress. It's a size 4. Pretend that it fits me. <laughs> it's brand new with a tag still attached. Uh, retailed for 200 doll hairs. And this one, again, it's a size 4. It has a little keyhole um, opening in the back. And I think these are, did someone say these are like called bat wings or something? Hi, like everyone. The style of the... Oh, it's kind of like wings. I think they're like wings. Batman. They're not called Batwings. They're called Batman. But it sounds way more whimsical when you say it like that. They're definitely Batwings. I so cute. I love the neck. Yeah. If you put a belt around that, if you wear that and you put a little belt, it looks so cute. Yeah. I love that the neck goes all the way up Yeah, there. I like I And then like it those... has a little keyhole in the back. Mm -hmm. I like the little... A little peekaboo. Little tiny It's like business in the front, party in the back. Cardinal neck situation. But you got Batwings. Batwings. And I think this is silk. I want to know the real proper name now. Because They're called call bat wings. <laughs> oh, no, it's polyester. Dry clean only. My shoes are cute. Did you show those yet? Mm, I showed them before, I think. I like those. Oh, thanks, Terry. I think magenta does look good on me. Actually, it really does look good on your skin. Your, like, on your skin color. I feel like red doesn't look good on me, but I feel like magenta is yeah. quite lovely. Yeah, actually. You need Imagine. I'm going to get like a magenta sure. shirt. Oversized dolman sleeves. Oh, Brina says they're definitely bat wings. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Brina. 
They're called oversized ones. Oh, Lori, I'm glad you like it. That bag was gorgeous. They give the illusion of shoulder pads. Yeah, they do. What? Of course it's real, Yasmin. That is so... I'm offended that you would ask that. So this is our magenta um, Rebecca Minkoff dress. Bye. New with tags. Size 4. And how much, Adrian? Okay, we're we'll do this guy for 75. And that is item number 22. Our beautiful dress. Okay, up next, let's do, do I have a shoe? Oh, these are values. Oh, let's do these guys. I don't think I've ever seen you guys these. Um, I could find the other shoe. Here it is. I don't know if there are any Manolo Blahnik fans out there, but I do have a beautiful, uh, beautiful pair of Manolo Blahniks. Let me just hold up one shoe so I can show you how it looks. It has a little ankle strap. It's in a really pretty golden brown leather. So it looks like this on. It has these little stud details across the front. And these are a size 40, which is like a, like a size 9, 8.5, 9, I think, Manolo Bonics. They don't have like too much wear on the bottoms either. They're in pretty good shape. And... There's the inside right there. These will also come with a dust bag because I have a dust bag for the shoes also. These are item number 23. Manolo Blahnik golden brown leather um, heels size 40. And these are going to be how much feet range? Okay, we're going to do these guys for $45. They're in really good shape. They're a size 40. There's the... And the heel height is like 2 inches. 3 inches. So a 3 inch heel height. Nine and a half. Oh, thank you, Susan! So these will be a nine and a half ten. Gorgeous. Okay. Number 23. I think we're going to go to just 25 tonight. Because Hadrian's got some stuff to do still. And then tomorrow, I'm going to have another sale at 10. And I'm going to go shopping tomorrow. So I should have all new stuff. Hopefully, cross your fingers for me. Send me a list of stuff you guys want to see, and I will keep a lookout for it. Send it to my email or DM me on Instagram, or you can send me a message on... Actually, probably emailing me would be best. I feel like that's easier. Um, up next... Oh, I still have this... Oh. You guys, I still have this Versace tote. Someone needs to get this guy. It's the newspaper tote bag. It's in plastic and then the interior like the newspaper part is in fabric it's so cool Versace tote bag this bag is like a collector's item and it's so cool so iconic and it does look like newspaper like it even has like little stains and um wrinkles on the fabric like it's really cool and then the inside is just lined in a black fabric lining there's one interior pocket and then this also will come with like the little Versace care booklet and stuff inside of there. And then here is the little tag Versace made in Italy on there. 
Oh, of course, Linda. Let me just put up this uh, Versace newspaper tote really quick. So this is our Versace um, PVC news PVC and fabric newspaper tote. And let me see how much this guy was. Okay, this guy was five hundred dollars for our Versace newspaper. <gasps> no way, Susan! That is crazy! Was it super hot? It, it it was so hot today. Well, it wasn't super duper hot, but it was like 95 degrees, I think. So it was pretty warm. Um, but here are the Manolo Blahnik heels. For Linda, so this is how the fronts look. Let me kind of like do it up so you can see. So it has like the studs right there. It has the little ankle um, buckle right there. And this is a three inch heel. And these will also come with a Manolo Blahnik um, dust bag for their shoes. Vadrine, do you know if the size um, for, it's a, a size 9 for Manolo's? Size 40? Linda, Vadrine's going to check really quick just to make sure. And while Vadrine does that, I will check, pick up the next item. Okay, I also do have... Oh, a court crossbody! Nice! The court bags are gorgeous. Oh, no way. A hundred. Lake Elsinore actually isn't too far from where I live. I used to go to Lake Elsinore all the time back when they had the Pottery Barn outlet at the Lake, at the Lake Elsinore outlets over there. That place was amazing. Oh, nice. That's a good find story of my life. Congratulations. Okay, up next, I have, these are Gucci loafers, and these, okay, so I haven't been able to restore both of them yet, but I have restored one so far. This is the one that I restored. The other one still looks like this. I will, of course, fix up the other one before um, I send out. Just haven't had a chance to do it yet, but these are... So cute. They still sell these on the website. I think they are like $900 or something. Um, it has the gold horse bit hardware right there. You can kind of wear it like this as a slip-on. And then you can also just wear it as a regular shoe. Yeah, I think so. They're size 10. Okay, hold on. Let me check it out. Okay, I'm going to throw this over here. Okay, so it looks like um, the size 40 is a U.S. size... 9? No, that's... No, wait, U.S. Size 10. Oh, it's a U.S. size 10. Yeah, so it's a size 10, uh, Linda. That was the size chart from the website. Anyway, um... Shoes are beautiful. These are in a size 38, and they fit a size 8. Seven and a half, eight. But they're so cute. The bottoms are not too worn at all either. Um, so there they are. I forgot what they're called specifically. Um, white Gucci. Hold on, I know I had them somewhere, white Gucci loafers. You're welcome, Linda. Do you ever know what they were called, Adrian? 
Oh, never mind. I found them. They fit a size 7. Okay, okay. So, these are the white Gucci leather horse bit Britain loafers, size 38. Okay, yeah. I had all the info for it. So, these are item number 24. So, these are the white Gucci leather horse bit Britain loafers, size 38. If it's a US size 7, they are $375. And that is item number 24. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My brain is, like, not working anymore. Today has been a long, busy day. But a good one. I have to um, fill up the car still with donation stuff because I didn't get a chance to do it today, like in the morning. So literally right after this, I'm going to like pack up the car with some more stuff to donate so I can clean out the garage. <laughs> okay, so that was item number 24, our little Gucci shoes. These are a size 7, so if anyone's interested in those. 375 and again I will also um, restore that other shoe if anyone gets it before we ship it out and then our last item for the evening is going to be item number 25 and I'm going to have to end with this guy again because this one is so stinking cute this is that MCM white backpack silver hardware this bag is so so cute here it is Ah, my hand is stuck. Here it is with both straps on, right there. How cute is that? This is like one of the cutest bags ever. When do I sleep? I don't sleep. <laughs> Terry, I never do. I stay awake all the time. <laughs> okay, so this is the bag. It's in a white leather there's one back pocket right there it has a turn lock there's a front pocket right here and then inside it doesn't have any pockets it's just open but it's um lined in suede and there are like two light marks in the bottom but other than that like the interior is in really good shape the leather is in really great shape as well and you can also um, convert the straps so right now it's a backpack you can also make it into a shoulder bag if you wanted and then it would be like that or you can attach a crossbody strap to it and then It'll be like this. This is my um, Fendi bacon strap. But look how fun that is with the bacon strap. It looks really cool. But that's how it looks as a crossbody bag. Oh my gosh, that would be so cute, Miriam. Okay, 25. This is our white MCM leather uh, convertible backpack with silver hardware. And this guy is, well, how much, Fabian? Okay, this guy is 400. And that is our last item of the night, is our MCM backpack that's convertible and can be worn as a, this is actually really cute. Hmm. Maybe I'll use this tomorrow like this with this strap on it. That's really cute. All right, that is item number 25, our last item for the evening. And now we will, yeah, I wish I had like a more, um, knowledge about Manolo Blahniks. I don't know anything about the sizing, unfortunately. But if anyone could help out Linda, that would be fantastic. If anyone has any info about it. Okay, so now... Oh, of course, Laura. Here is the Bimakowski again. 
It's in a beautiful brown pebbled leather. It has two front pockets right here. The hardware is in a brushed silver. There also is another back pocket right there. There's a shoulder strap. It's not adjustable, unfortunately. It has a leather, long leather zipper pull. And then the interior of the bag looks like this. It has one, oh, those are pockets, okay. So there's a zipper pocket right there, and it has two pockets underneath the zipper pocket, and those are actually all the compartments. But it's nice and clean, like inside and out, all the corners um, are in really good shape. Honestly, I think the bag looks brand new. It doesn't have any signs of wear on any of the corners. There's no rubbing or anything anywhere, and the hardware is all in really good shape as well. Right, Melissa? It's a really nice, like, brown color. But there we go. Okay, uh, let us do our giveaway right now, though. Oh, was someone asking about the strap? Um, Cecilia, it's a Fendi strap. Actually, I'm selling the Fendi strap, too, if anyone's interested in it. But how much was the strap be doing? Do you remember? Mm, let me see if I can find it. But here's a close up of the strap on my shoulder while I look it up. Mm, let's see. Okay, yeah, the Fendi strap is um, four hundred. If anyone's if anyone's interested in the strap, but let me get the giveaway link and let me get our random computer. Okay, dun, dun, dun. all right, you guys, say hi to. The vlog. All right, guys. So, hi to the vlog. You guys are now live in the vlog. I have our YouTube random comment picker up. And, oh, hold on. I put the wrong. Oh, there you go. Okay. There we go. We're going to fetch our comments. All right. So, we're going to pick the winner in three, two, one, two, 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 Jean, oh my gosh, Jean, you won. Congratulations. Jean, my favorite secondhand pre purchase would be my wood, oh, my wood coach label coat purse hanger. <gasps> that looks like, oh, I remember that, Jean, you sent me a photo of it. Congratulations. You are our winner tonight for this juicy couture little key pouch congratulations jean are you still in here if not it's totally cool um i have all your info congratulations but thank you guys again so much for being here tonight i appreciate you guys immensely i always have a blast hanging out with you guys during our late night live sales again don't forget to tune in tomorrow at 10 p.m pacific time saturday for another um, live sale. I'm going to be shopping tomorrow. So send me ideas of things that you guys might want to see. Um, brands, bag styles, even clothing and shoe sizes. Let me know. I'm going to keep an eye out for everything. And yeah, Saturdays are usually like my craziest shopping day too. Saturdays and Sundays, but especially Saturdays. So send me an email. Let me know if you're interested in anything. Again, congratulations to Jean. And thank you guys all so much for joining um, what is that fluff ball for? Um, which fluff ball? Which Rebecca Minkoff? Oh, uh, the gray one? Yeah, of course. Here is the gray Rebecca Minkoff again. Really quick. It's, um... Silver hardware, only the top zipper 
um, is actually a pocket. The other zipper is open and closed, but you can actually put anything inside. And here is the interior. Sorry, it's a little dark. I should get a light. Um, but yeah, the bag is in good shape. It just has um, minimal rubbing on the corners and all the hardware is in good shape. There's no like color loss or tarnishing or anything. And here is the bag on. Oh, yeah, this is the microphone thing. This little guy. This is so that it doesn't like if it's windy or anything like that, like it, it doesn't get like that, like that staticky sound. That's what the I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> All right. Well, if anyone has any other questions, um, feel free to send me an email or a DM. Otherwise, the invoices should be out within the next 15 minutes. And if you're watching this video after the live is already over, you can check down below in the description for the items, availability, and pricing. And also, you can check out the past videos as well and see if there's anything in there that you might like. You can see the items in those description boxes also. Um, but again, join us tonight at 10 p.m. for another late night live sale. I should have all new items for tomorrow, so I'm really, really excited, and hope to see you guys all there. All right, good night, guys. Adios. Sayonara. Arrivederci. Bon voyage.